The overall goal of this procedure is to develop and characterize a metabolic syndrome model in rabbits using a high-fat, high-sucrose diet, which is of great importance when associating a phenotype with organ remodeling. This method can help answer key questions in the pathophysiology field, such as understanding uh, organ remodeling and the progression of the disease, the detection of preclinical and clinical markers to identify patients at risk, or testing new therapeutic approaches. The rabbit can provide many advantages over other animal models, including murine, canine, or porcine, given its similarity to human physiology and the affordability of using chronic protocols and measurements. Demonstrating this procedure will be Oscar Arias, a PhD student from our laboratory. To acclimate the animals to their diet, feed each animal in the control group 120 grams of control diet daily for four weeks and provide water ad libitum. Feed the animals in the MET S group 250 grams of chow starting with 50% control and 50% high fat chow. Then, progressively increase the diet to 100% high fat chow by the end of week four. In addition, give the animals in the MET S group water with 5% sucrose at the start and increase the sucrose concentration to 15% by the end of the fourth week. Register the daily intake of chow and sucrose solution to calculate the caloric intake. Once the animals have been acclimated to their diet,